I found the most beautiful blackberries at the grocery and they taste absolutely delicious. And I remember seeing a recipe called low sugar, old fashioned pioneer berry apple jam in this cookbook that my friend Mary from Mary's Nest put together. So I thought, let's make that pioneer jam. So let's get that started. This video is brought to you by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. Visit us at www.aprondiva.com. Now this recipe looks pretty simple. It calls for five cups of berries, three cups of sugar, a medium-sized Granny Smith apple. Now my Granny Smith apples are small, so I'll probably need to use two. And then also some bottled lemon juice. Other than that, that's it. So I'll get my jars washed up and she suggests getting seven half pint jars ready. And the half pint jars are the small jelly sized jars. And I'll get my water bath canner heated up and then I'll get this jam started.
So I process my jars for 10 minutes and I've turned off the canner and I'm going to let it just sit off for five minutes before I remove the lid. But I will admit I did taste a couple of spoons of jam and oh my goodness was it ever delicious. And I forgot how many seeds there are in blackberries when you put them in a jam. Now of course I ate several of the blackberries, you probably saw me doing that before I put them in the jam. And then I put them in the jam and then as I was getting things all stirred up, I just took a spoon and just had a nice little spoonful. Oh wait, there might still be some in the freezer. Let me check. Ha! I did have this little bit in the freezer that I had put on the plate to test it for whether or not it had gelled enough. So you can kind of see how it looks like on the plate. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's got great flavor. Great flavor. Can't wait to have some on toast. Gonna go ahead and get those out. stabilizer up. Come on. There we go. It was supposed to make seven jars and I ended up with five and a half. So maybe I didn't have quite enough fruit. I thought I had five cups of fruit, but maybe not. But notice I'm just bringing the jar straight up and out. I'm not worrying about the water that's on top. I'm not trying to tip it to get the water off. And then that one just sealed. There was just like a oh, second one sealed. You hear that little pop? And I made this little small one that I can use to give as a gift. It looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You can see the seeds from the blackberries and you can hear it pop as the vacuum seal takes place. So that one is sealed. That one is sealed. This one is sealed. This one is sealed. That one is sealed. Just waiting on that one and they will all have sealed. Now once again, the cookbook that I got this recipe from for this Pioneer Berry Apple Jam came from this book. My friend Mary from Mary's Nest put together this cookbook called the Modern Pioneer Cookbook. You can pick it up at Barnes & Noble. You can order it on Amazon and probably wherever books are sold, you can probably pick this up. So definitely give that a try. I saw another recipe in there that I wanted to try and it was some kind of pioneer bread so I will give that a try as well. Now in case you're wondering this is my ball fresh tech water bath canner and I absolutely love it. It is so easy to use and I think you'll find it easy to use too. I do have it linked in my Amazon store so please check it out if you're so interested. And then down here I have my little kit. My jar lifter little set of forceps to lift things with, my debubbler, lid lifter, and my funnel. This is a little kit that I picked up. I can't, I think probably Walmart or somewhere like that, but it's also a ball kit and I use it when I'm working with my canning. So it's part of my canning inventory. And I'll have one of those linked in my Amazon store as well. Now I did get extra strawberries and because I just like them. I like having them in the morning with my yogurt and I did learn a trick to make them last longer. Once you wash them and rinse them as you normally do, you put them in a mason jar but you line the mason jar with paper towel and then you put the strawberries on top of that. And my strawberries lasted for almost two weeks and they never have lasted that much that long before. So I was really excited to learn that method. 
I can't quite remember the name of the lady that was on with Mary who shared that tip, but I will find her channel and I will link it in the description box. And let me invite you to sign up for my newsletter, Homemaking with Purpose. It will have all kinds of information in there to help you master your homemaking journey. And for more homemaking and homekeeping inspiration, click here.